This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.20.2. User progress, grades, and assignments now feature a new View Inline Feedback link that takes learners directly to the annotations or Turnitin view. This feature implements Pi item D5351. Now, in some instances, when you upload a JPEG file in Brightspace Learning Environment, an exchangeable image file, EXIF, data warning appears to inform you when your file may contain geolocation data. To improve security, D2L is proactively blocking suspicious requests by using a web app firewall. Note, this feature is available to Singapore-hosted clients and will roll out globally in future releases. Your developers can now add a deep link to Brightspace Pulse in custom apps. Effective February 2020, Brightspace Widgeo is no longer available to users. A new Course Reset tool is now available. Course Reset will reset a course back to an empty shell. Course Reset permanently deletes the course data and it will not appear in any reporting or data sets after the reset process is complete. This feature requires the C Course Reset permission at the course offering level. From Course Administration, click Course Reset. To see a detailed list of materials excluded in a Course Reset, click What am I deleting? To begin the reset process, click Delete Course Content, Activities, Associated Files, User Grades, User Progress, and Interaction Data. You can further customize your reset by selecting Delete Group Enrollments and Group Categories and or Delete Course Homepages, Navbars, and Widgets. Note, Course Reset permanently deletes the course data and it will not appear in any reporting or data sets after the reset process is complete. When you are ready, Click Reset. Confirm the reset action by typing the course code of the course being reset into the text field. Note, the delete button will not become available until the correct course code is entered. Click Delete. The course reset will process. Once the reset is complete, you are taken to the audit log to view the results. A new Brightspace Datasets category Portfolio is now available. Portfolio datasets will always generate as a weekly full and a daily differential. Note, this feature is available to Brightspace Insights and core clients in North America, EMEA, and APAC. This feature implements Pi item D5403. As of the February 2020 release, Brightspace datasets version 4 is now enabled by default and will migrate all clients who have yet made the change. Game-based learning has been redesigned to improve user experience, increase accessibility, and make it easier for your instructors to use. Note, this feature is available to Engagement Plus and existing Course Adventure Pack clients. Tab-separated value files can now be imported into Gradebook. This feature implements Pi item D5385. You can now specify new number and date formats when creating or editing a custom locale. This feature implements Pi items D3931 and D4083. Navbar icons are now available for Manager Dashboard and Learning Groups. A new config variable, D2L Tools WYSIWYG MathJax Scaling, now allows you to change the default scaling percentage of mathematical equations. Level of Achievement Mapping in Rubrics is now generally available. Your instructors can now add rubrics to portfolio evidence. When your instructors open Quick Eval at the course level, only activities relating to that course will display. This feature implements Pi item D5474. Activities can be dismissed in Quick Eval until another submission is made by a learner. This feature implements Pi item D5505. In Quiz Builder, questions can be aligned to learning outcomes. Once an outcome is aligned to a question, that alignment applies to all quizzes with that question. Note, outcome alignments are copied between courses but are not included in export packages. 
Video Note now automatically generates closed captions for newly created videos. These captions can be manually added or updated for previously recorded videos. Users can also download a transcript and the closed caption file associated with a video. For a list of available languages, review the release notes. This feature is available to all core clients. This feature implements PyItem D5864. A new Learning Paths tool is now available. For detailed setup information, review the release notes. To see the full workflow for the game-based learning tool redesign, check out the instructor release highlights, and, as always, don't forget to subscribe!